What happened to all the stuff that fell in? There is a central problem though, which is still not solved. What lies at the center of a black hole? Now in pure, just in Einstein's general theory of relativity, it's this thing called the singularity. You might think of it as an infinitely dense point to which this massive star collapses. It's kind of the natural way to think of it. Because what you see is that the singularity is not really a place in space at all. It's a moment in time. And actually, it's the end of time. So one way of picturing what's happened when a star collapses to form a black hole is that space and time are so distorted that, in a sense, their roles swap. And so what we thought of as an infinitely dense point, a place in space, at the center, at the center of the collapse of the star, if you like, actually becomes a moment in time and the end of time, the singularity. But the nature of that thing uh, was not, and is still not, understood. So that's a great mystery. And it's been long accepted that we will need a so-called quantum theory of gravity, a deeper theory of gravity, in order to explain the singularity. But the upshot is, imagine this thing. It's a black hole. It's glowing. It's just space-time geometry, but it's emitting particles, losing energy, therefore it's shrinking, which means that one day it will be gone. So black holes are not eternal prisons. They have a lifetime. One day, whatever's in there is returned to the universe. The question was, the central question that was immediately raised by those calculations is this.